In uh, this video, I will be showing you how you can uh, use JPEG Digger to recover full resolution JPEGs from lost uh, uh, raw photos. Uh, CR2, NEF, uh, Sony lost, uh, Leica, basically any TIFF based raw photo. Select a drive and go into advanced options. This is not absolutely necessary, but I always do it. And then select a minimum resolution. This is to avoid uh, picking up smaller JPEG files, like little thumbnails and that. So, as I said, uh, JPEG Digger is what the name implies uh, a tool that recovers JPEG data. So rather than recovering the original raw photo, it will pick up the signature of a raw photo and then further explore the data inside the raw photo and pull out the uh, full resolution JPEG. Now if you absolutely need the raw photo, then you will need to use a different tool. So then you may wonder why this is useful at all. It is useful because a JPEG Digger uh, manages to pull out those uh, full resolution JPEG files, even if the uh, original raw photo is corrupt. So what I often see uh, with my uh, JPEG repair service is that people uh, send me raw photos that they have recovered, for example, using uh, Stellar uh, Photo Recovery or Isis or Recuva, and uh, they end up with a bunch of raw files that are corrupt and uh, corrupt to the degree where they do not even show uh, previews. Now, if these raw photos do not show previews, there are hardly any tools that are able to extract the embedded JPEGs. My tool JPEG Repair is one, but this is an alternative route, so to speak, rather than recovering corrupt raw files first and then extract full resolution JPEGs. Uh, this directly uh, digs those JPEGs from the uh, formatted drive or the drive containing the deleted raw files. So this is an alternative way to get those full resolution JPEGs. And this is why JPEG can be useful, even though it does not pull uh, the original raw photos from the either corrupted drive, formatted drive, or uh, intact drive from which you have deleted uh, raw photos. The uh, previews it shows are generated from this data it finds. So what you see is what you get. It will show the preview, obviously, and it will show the resolution of the JPEG it is able to dig out of this uh, raw photo. File names are not recovered because this is not a file system based recovery tool. It actually scans uh, sector data and tries to find data that way. So the right, at the right side of the screen you will see those sector numbers. And these are actually the sectors, uh, sectors which um, uh, the data was found at. And these numbers will be used to generate the file names. So uh, the end product will be a file named sector number dot JPEG. Now we'll just have to wait for it to finish. This is a uh, selection of different raw photos. So it's uh, Nikon, Nikon, I don't know how you pronounce it. Canon, Leica, I think a couple of uh, raw photos from a Sony on there. And these are all uh, TIFF based raw photos. And, and TIFF is then the 
structure of the file, the, the way the file is organized. And many of these formats save the actual image data in a proprietary format. Uh, most of which I don't know. I know Canon uses uh, lossless compressed JPEG. I think Leica does the same thing. I, I heard that from uh, the author of um, Raw Digger earlier today. Mm -hmm. So now, yeah, then uh, so you select drive, click scan. You can also try that click scan, and most of the times it will pull up the uh, full resolution JPEGs. Uh, I've seen a couple of times where RAWs from Nikon or Nikon actually embedded three JPEGs. One was the uh, 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 a tiny thumbnail, 160 times 120. One was a medium uh, preview, around, I don't know, 1024 pixels uh, times uh, 800, I don't know. And then the full resolution, 6000 times whatever. And uh, under those conditions, if it finds the medium preview before it finds the full rest preview it may save that so this is why you want to check that minimum resolution option but for canon it's, it's not even necessary now we see a large black gap we see the, the highlighted green uh, entropy we see then a, a large black gap and then near the end of the drive it discovered a couple of more files okay you can Click a sector number, it will show you the preview. Check boxes, uh, select files, select all, the button next to it uh, deselects all, and then you hit the save button. It will ask, so where do you want to save this? Never save to the uh, drive you are recovering from, always another drive. Well, it will show each preview again. Uh, uh, switching that off will make it a tad faster because it doesn't have to generate the preview and you can basically already uh, go to the destination folder and uh, see what it brought you so Full resolution JPEGs, not always the best um, result. I, I mean, raw photos, I, I understand you prefer that, but in case you find that your recovered raw photos are corrupt, then this may be a very good alter alternative. 